Five Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. I think Braylon's meal has been pretty good for Clarence recently, so the one to maybe look out for. Carter, opportunity. Oh, oh hits the post. post. Clarence giving it away there in their own zone, and plenty of time for Spl uh, Carter, sorry. Five hearts again. Yeah, another chance here. Yeah. Benson. Again, shows it was Nick Carter's there, still loose at the side. Five still have it, some pressure here. Back to Emma Dallas, tight to blue. He'll put the traffic. Oh, oh bouncing puck. Yeah, bounced it. I thought he was going to bounce over his leg. Yeah, Peacock was looking for the weed tip. Starrett keeps an eye on it. He loves it. Go on now. He'll bring it forward. He's got Jones on that far side. Laporte's heading towards the net. Slip shot. Nice in front. Net's off as Emma Dallas and Owen, the combination of the two of them. Emmerdale kind of stumbles back and the net's come off. And the, the penalty's up. Start night working hard down low here for Fife. Yeah. Oh. So. <laughs> Do you know what? Jones and Stadnick there are having a bit of digging each other behind the play. I'm surprised they're both not going, to be honest with you. Yellow hard once more, 30 seconds. This yeah, time. he's given the goal. Yeah, so the puck went through. One time we shot from Drix Jones. I think Roy might have got a tip on it, hit the post, come back out, and then yeah, the guy was over the, the back line. door. Yeah. Just to get it over the line, made sure it was confirmed over the line that time. You and I take a cut in wages, Laura, that'll help towards the budget. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a wee bit niggling there behind the play. No calls though, just a bit of a shove and a whack going on. Well, that was going to be better now, than yes. that one though. Big slap shot oh, from good that save. one. Uh, so we are going to see power play for Flyers. It's going to be Bookaboom I think. Yeah, Bookaboom's going to be done here for holding. Over on that far side. Let's go guys, on your chance here. Oh, another chance. Good pad save, but Starrett gets it down nice and low. Five still have it in there though, McGee. Net, yeah, legs, legs shifting. It's tiring out there, that's for sure. Yeah! Oh, McGee! Just as I was saying that Clan were tiring out there on that power penalty kill. McGee, quick shot, pass that it, ties things up at one apiece on the power play. The report was alright, just to, you know, everything does happen so quickly out there, we know that. Oh, shot and call coming here. Yeah. I think so, he's actually, hurt, oh, I thought he'd hurt himself actually in the play. He's up and actually okay. It's good to see McGee up and all right. And good to see the guy going straight to the box because you know he's done wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but McNicholas and Laporte in the draw. Laporte wins it, which is crucial for them to start the end this period. Rua, down made his own net. And it's actually lay on the puck there. Like, I'll be surprised yeah, if he doesn't go. Yeah, he's going to get a call here yeah. to lay in the game. Yeah, that yeah. was silly. It was silly, actually. It was a silly penalty. I mean, we've seen it from here, clear as day. He's had the puck behind the net, he's looked at it, and then decided to lie on top of it, basically. So it's in the end, but he's hurting right now. 15 seconds left on 5 on 3. Players moving it around. Trying to find that goal. Another block in front. Yeah! Oh! Players score with just 5 seconds left on the 5 on 3. We're leading this one 2 to goals to 1. Obviously that big body went down for the block to yeah, the pass and you see the block coming up here when he hit the shot there, it was some shot. Yeah, it was so obviously big body, puck was loose, passes it across to Carter at the back door and finishes it. He springs it forward. Good work there by the flyer just to get out of their own yeah, zone and get, up there. get themselves a change. Want some pressure there by the clan. Shoot once more, comes into the zone. 
put in between the two flyers there, but Anderson cuts that out. Oh, it's going to be another penalty here. Yeah. Stray stick. Yeah, he's going for high sticks. Caught Laporte just on the chin. He's up. He is all right. But Mackenzie's going to sit here for the high stick. Plays it forward on that far side. Man with the extra oh. skater on the ice. Yellow Horn does well. Battles hard against Blue Machine. Brayhead have it. Sorry, Glasgow. Oh! It's in. It's in. They've scored on that far side. The shot comes off Owen. And it just trickles underneath him. Then we're down. Try and keep close to him as possible. Laporte now. Back to Roy. Again, Emmerdale does well to keep close to him. Greg Chase brings it forward. He's got Emmerdale heading towards it. Emmerdale has it. Yeah! Oh! Jonas Emmerdale oh, comes oh, oh. in in overtime to win it for the Five Flyers. What a goal. Absolute beautiful goal. Right in the top corner in it. And listen to the barn. Yeah. What a roar in here. Absolutely superb finish there by Emmerdale. Such a different team, Laura, over the weekend. Manchester, and then we come back at home and we play the clan, we beat the clan. Well, I mean, it, uh, it looked there for the longest while we weren't even going to get any points. So, uh, you know, to find a way to get one uh, when we pulled our goaltender was good. I mean, that certainly helps our cause in terms of getting into the playoffs. Uh, you know, you, you don't want to leave any points on the table at this time of year, but one is better than none. Uh, you know, we had some good looks. Uh, we have a tenth of a second more in the first period. We have a one nothing lead. You know, I'm not going to fault anybody for that. That's just unfortunate <laughs> bad luck. Uh, you know, we had some good looks. Uh, you know, the save he made on Tim Shoup there in the third period. Uh, we had a post in, in uh, overtime. I think that was their only shot in overtime, and we had the majority of the play and majority of the offensive zone time in overtime, but sometimes that's what happens. You know, sometimes the team only needs one shot. Yeah, I mean, I think um, the situation that we're in, it's, um, we had a chat with the guys before, before the game about being ready. Um, you know, these are rivalry games, and no matter what the standings are, you know, something we talked about, you know, before the game is you want to put your best effort in, you want to, you know, um, at this point, play for the fans and play for, you know, for, for pride. And uh, I thought the guys did a good job at coming out um, ready to go. And uh, they played physical and chippy. And to be fair, I, th I thought, you know, both teams uh, did a good job tonight. I think it was an entertaining game from both aspects. Um, and I think the fishing, they did a, did a pretty decent job at, you know, at a high highly charged uh, atmosphere and rivalry game at, at keeping, keeping the discipline. Um, so yeah, well done to, to everyone involved.